Germany. My name is David Klein, and whether my wife likes it or not, I'm kicking off this Hall of Fame because I've been here 10 years. Tonight is a very special night for each and every one of us because in 2003, February 9th, we started Dynamite Championship Wrestling, then known as Delaware Championship Wrestling. And each and every one of these guys at ringside have been through thick and thin to make this company what it is for you guys here in Farmington tonight. But it's not just about these guys at ringside. It's about four individuals that are here tonight, who were here in 2003 when we started DCW. And tonight we will honor them the best way we know how by inducting them into the inaugural Hall of Fame. Now I wasn't here for the first show. Um, I joined a little bit later in 03. I've been here since we were in Harrington, from JW to Harrington on TV, UPN. Uh, it's been a long 10 years. We've been to Fire Hall, the Fire Hall, and tonight we find ourselves right here in Farmington for 10 years. Um, but I know you guys want to get on with the show. So you guys ready for the Hall of Fame ceremony? That's what I thought. tonight. Not just the women are getting recognized tonight, but there's other people. You see, the first guy that I'm inducting here tonight, and this is a proud honor of mine, started his career in professional wrestling as a commentator. Any of you that remember 2003 to 2005, Intense TV by Dynamite Championship Wrestling on UPN Saturday mornings had an announced team. Jerry Strauss and Sean Cradle. Sean Cradle was hated by fans and wrestlers, loved by Zach Connor. And here's why. I like people, I like people that tell the truth. I like people that aren't afraid of what anybody else says. 
If he was given something to say, he said, no, I'm going to say what comes to my heart. There was a time when DCW wanted Zach Connor buried and not spoken about or talked about. And this guy came to me and he said, Zach, tell me every name of every one of your moves and we'll come up with 10 more just to annoy everybody. That guy had my back. When I won the Rookie of the Year, he came to me and said, Zach, I have an idea. Call yourself the Rook. Everybody will hate it. And you did. A few years later, DCW was approaching an anniversary. And you see, we needed a name for this anniversary. Sean Cradle created the name Guts and Glory. And here we are today celebrating Guts and Glory 10. Now, Sean Cradle was not just a visionary and a creative genius and a commentator. Later in my career, he went on to manage me against guys like Chris Wilde, Jeremy Trojan, Mana, and others. Hell, Guts and Glory 5 in Smyrna, Delaware, if any of you were there for that, I kicked Sean Cradle's ass in the main event. But, but, as brothers are, time heals all wounds. So what I'd like to do right now is show a little piece of who Sean Cradle is to all of you. Roll the footage, monkeys. Oh man, what a crazy night. So ladies and gentlemen, whether you love him, hate him, you will never forget him. Allow me to introduce the first ever inductee into the inaugural 2013 Hall of Fame, my personal friend and brother, Sean Cradle. Thank you very much, Zach. Thank you, everyone, for this. Uh, wow. Um, honestly, I don't know what to say. I was going to write this big, fancy speech. But you know what? I'm just going to speak from the heart, much like I did uh, during the years here that I had at DCW. Um, when I joined this company, it wasn't Dynamite Championship Wrestling. It was Delaware Championship Wrestling. And. Uh, we were at uh, JW's, and thank you for reminding me for that, because I was trying to remember the name of that restaurant, uh, which was literally like no bigger than this area here. Um, but we moved from there to Harrington at the fairgrounds. I remember that show. Uh, main event was uh, Justice Payne and Chris Hamrick. Had nearly a thousand people there. And uh, it was crazy times. And that show, DCW Intense TV, um, broke some ground. It really did, especially in this area. And um, I was just very, very happy to be a part of it. So there's some people that I want to thank. Uh, first of all, the, the, uh, the original three that said yes to me when I wanted to do this. Uh, going way back, we're talking uh, with Jeff Rocker, uh, Sean Hardy, and Steve Grossman. Those men said yes to me and allowed me to be here and do what I do. Um, when I got my start, only just a year earlier, uh, for MCW in Maryland, uh, that company had closed down, and at that time, I didn't know where I was going to go and what I was going to do, and this company opened their arms to me and let me grow and do things and try a lot of stuff that I didn't even know if I could do and definitely was scared to try it at the time. Uh, they allowed me to grow become a character and grow that character here and watch it form and we had a lot of fun with that uh you know calling zach the rook 
awarding him as the only person to ever win Rookie of the Year twice. I don't know how he did that. Uh, I guess I can say I'm sorry to people like Dylan Cage because I said he looked like Smeagol from Lord of the Rings. I know he hated me for that, so. Uh, but I had a lot of, a lot of fun. And when Intense TV went off the air, DCW was there again because they allowed me to fulfill my other dream, and that was to become a manager. And I managed one of the most successful groups ever in this company, and that was the Pain Syndicate. And uh, managed Red Hot Russ every day of his championship reign while I was here. Uh, also managed uh, Johnny Thunder and uh, Jeff Rocker. Had a lot of interaction with uh, people like Francine from ECW. Uh, Talia, who is now the TNA Knockouts Champion, Velvet Sky. She started with me. And we had a lot of fun back then. And it is so great to come back here and see the tradition continue. I look around, I see a lot of guys that I know, and uh, a lot of guys from back in the day. Uh, those were some trying times back then. Uh, persevered, and you guys are still rocking and rolling today. And I'm proud of each and one of these guys that lay it out on the line every single time for you. Uh, and I, I thank you guys, because I enjoy coming, I enjoy watching it, I enjoy calling some of your matches. Uh, you know, but going back to this guy right here, Zach Connor. you know, I know he gives me a lot of credit, but really, you know, you should get a lot of credit too, because um, a lot of that stuff we came up with together. And, you know, there was a lot of times when people didn't want to hear it, people didn't want to uh, just totally ignore what we had to say, but we knew we were passionate enough that if you just let us try it, it would work, and it did. We put a lot of emphasis on guys that no one would even think about putting an emphasis on because we believe that every person on the roster was a superstar of equal footing. And if you present them that way, then everyone at home would see them that way. Um, some great matches that I was uh, proud to be a part of. Um, I remember, and I still talk about it to this day with people on the road, uh, one of the best matches I've ever had the opportunity of calling was Zach Connor and Chris Wilde's 60 minute Iron Man match. Which, yeah, I helped me put together too some of that stuff. And it was just phenomenal to watch people grow from 2003 to where we are right now. Um, I want to thank uh, Jerry Strauss, my longtime broadcasting partner, the guy you saw on that uh, videotape. Uh, and, and thank you for that video, by the way. I don't know where you got that footage from. I'm gonna kill somebody when I find them when I see them. Uh, you know, <laughs> the one thing I'm glad that you guys didn't pull is, is the actual intense TV footage where I look like a complete reject from my topic. It was embarrassing. And I'm, I'm glad that that footage burned somewhere. But, uh, you know, I wanna thank Jerry Strauss because he was actually the main connection that got me here. He had actually started one show prior to me coming here and uh, basically talked me into coming. So I thank him and uh, hey, we, we still work together and it's been a great friendship ever since then. Um, I want to thank, obviously, even though I know they're feuding right now and hate each other's guts, but let me thank the Pines for continuing this tradition and uh, starting this, uh, this Hall of Fame. Um, This is very special for me because when you are a commentator, when you are a manager, or you work behind the scenes, you don't get the, a lot of recognition. Uh, when you're an in-ring performer, you have the opportunity to be Rookie of the Year, Tag Team of the Year, Wrestler of the Year, you're featured in magazines, whatever. We are basically like the offensive line. We, the stuff that we do behind the scenes, may or may not get that much credit, but it's very important because without that part, none of this really happens. So for DCW to take the time to induct me into the Hall of Fame means everything to me, and I thank you for that. So uh, in closing, uh, thank you very much. Glad to see everyone here, and I hope you guys have a good time tonight. Thank you very much.